Hello everyone. Um, for this particular semester's exam, it's going to be online, and I'm sure subsequent, the subsequent semesters will also be online. And because of that, the examination coordinator, together with the ICT units, have now introduced a special type of browser which we will use to conduct the exam. And the browser is named, it's called Safe Exams Browser. Now, I would advise that all students get this software or browser installed on their computer, or be it PC or Mac, before they do walk into the examination hall. Um, I'm sure most of the, the, the invigilators will probably check out, check these out to make sure that you have these browsers um, installed on your computer. And you should be mindful that if you don't install the software, you will not be able to take the exam. You can't use your Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox to, to, conduct, um, to carry out the exam. Now, this short video is supposed to help you and have a general overview of how the SIFS um, exams browser looks like and what to do before you can get yourself ready for the exam. So I have here um, the login page for the, the, v, um, the VLA where I'm going to enter in as a student. Those of you who have forgotten your username and password, you can always go to forgotten username and password and request for a password reset. If you have not, you can also do the same thing. If you have not, um, you can also log on to the system by using the university email address and that will give you access to the VLE. So I have these details, um, so I can use it. I can now log into the system. Please, um, continuous students, I think, are using their index number. First years are using their reference number to log on to the system. So I'll now log in as the system. Um, upon a successful, upon successfully logging onto the system, you would see all the courses that you, you registered for the semester. So, I have a course called Safe Exam Browser. Yours would be maybe Introduction to Computing or whichever course that you registered for the semester. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm using, um, I created a course called Safe Exam Browser. Now, so I'll go into this particular course, which is the Save Exam Browser, then I'll look out for the exam or quiz that has been set up for me to, um, to write the exam. So when I click on Sample Exam, or the name of the exam, it be it Introduction to Computing, now when I click on it, um, you see that the browser changes. This time around, it is forcing me to either download the Save Exam Browser if I don't have it downloaded, or I will click on launch safe exam browser to launch the safe exam browser. So from here you can see sample exam. This quiz has been configured so that students may only attempt it using the safe exam browser. So if the lecturer has it configured this way, it means you can't take the exams in your Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. The only way is to download the safe exams browser. So I'll click on this one to take it to, to take us to the page where I can download the software. So from here, I can click on it to download the software. Once I'm done, I can just double click on the software to, to install it. Uh, let me see if I can quickly go through this one. Um, all right, I don't really have downloads yet. So from here, I already have it downloaded. This is the Safe Exam Browser software. So I'll just double click on this one. Uh, for it to open this one. In, in my case, because I have it installed, it tells me modify. Yours might be different. So what you can do is to just click next, 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 next to install. Those of us who have issues in installing, especially if it tells you um, the .NET framework is not working, what you can do is to go online and go to um, probably youtube.com. Sorry, go to google.com and you just type maybe .net .net um, .net framework download framework downloads you, there, there are lots of them that are available you can just click on it to install but I'm very confident when you click on this and you have the software downloaded you should be able to install it and go through the process so I'll go back again, since I already have it installed. This time around, I'll click on Launch Safe Exams Browser. 
So when I click on this one, um, it says other browsers might might give you might tell you um, we can't open it or probably um, click here to continue or whatever. But I am using Mozilla Firefox for this one. So um, choose an application to open. I'm going to use Save Exams Browser to open it. So this time round, I can just choose it, and the Save Exams Browser will open. At the moment, my screen is blanked out, and I'm believing the recording is still ongoing. Okay. So once you have the software downloaded and installed on your computer, I would advise you download this configuration file. In fact, I'm going to send it across to all students. You can download it and put it on your desktop. So anytime you want to take up, take up an exam, double, just double click on that configuration file. Uh, for instance, when I click on this configuration file, this is how it looks, config.sip. So what you can do is, this is the file. The only time you want, once you have the software installed on your computer, it needs to be installed first. If you want to take up the exam, you just double click on this particular um, file, which is the config.seb. In my case, let me just make it umat, um, umat exams file. Well, let me just call it umat exams.seb. So I'm going to send this file across to all students. So first of all, you install the software. When you are done, you just double click on this one to have access to the exams portal. This is just a brief of how to use the Safe Exams browser. Thank you very much, and I wish you best of luck in your quizzes and exams.